Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're just going to be taking a quick look at a an early wartime commercial uh, RFV, uh, German Reich's Finance Ministry gun, and uh, just kind of go over some of the history that you can tell from a broom handle just by looking at its markings, and uh, maybe just kind of help you identify uh, what you might be looking at when you come across one of these. I know a lot of people are interested in broom handles. They can be kind of a daunting subject because there are, there's a lot of little variants and subvariants and markings and all kinds of silly things that just sort of throw people off. So uh, let's just take a look at this gun and just kind of decipher what we can from it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the serial number and that is in the 285,000 serial number range. So that's going to tell you that's going to be a wartime commercial gun, probably about 1914 to 1915. Now this one's interesting because it's got an RFV on it. Well, that is the German Reich's Finance Ministry, who were the tax collection, the border patrol, border guards, customs, things like that. This was an official governmental agency from definitely through the Weimar Republic and into the early and possibly even longer Nazi period. So this gun could have been issued anytime in the Weimar or early Nazi era to them. Um, so that would have come probably after uh, World War I, when the gun was sort of surplused out to other departments. So you're just kind of looking at your gun here, uh, very standard, no markings, uh, small ring hammer as you'd expect from this time period. Uh, your grips still are not as good as uh, earlier grips that you would see on a pre-war commercial gun but still pretty good looking because this is not the full-on exigencies of war when Mauser was just trying to uh, get stuff out the door. The, these grips actually fit pretty nice. Not commercial quality, but still very good looking. Um, flip this guy over. It has got a marking right here. And if you see that on one of your guns, that is a German World War I Imperial acceptance mark. So that means that gun was taken into military service. So this gun in 30 Mauser or 763 Mauser was a military gun and it was uh, issued out. Uh, looks like by the condition it probably went to a rear echelon soldier. It's a pretty good looking gun. Didn't see much use and um, really, really didn't see much. Just a little bit of age wear. You've got your nicely blued trigger. You've got your standard marking there. Um, this, remember, will always be a matched piece with the last three or four digits of the serial number on it. And this one does match. You've got your standard uh, 1,000 meter rear sight with the nice fire blue that Mauser was still using. And your extractor is the fire blue as well with your standard uh, chamber marking there. And if you look at the hammer, since it is a wartime commercial gun, you have got the NS on it, which is a new safety is what that stands for. And uh, that would be proper for this serial number range. Your uh, serial number is also going to be repeated as always on pretty much all Mausers. Uh, here and then here and then the last three on the hammer there so all in all that kind of gives you an idea of where this gun has been uh, it started out life in world war one as a german imperial military gun was issued out and then stayed in circulation was not uh, messed with for the treaty of versailles or anything like that and then was issued out afterwards to the Reich's finance ministry as a border guard or probably customs agent gun and is just kind of one of those interesting um, interesting guns with a history that you can kind of trace and then probably ended up in America as a GI bring back like a lot of these guns did. So hope you've enjoyed just taking a quick thumbnail look at a you know, pretty nice condition early wartime commercial gun that actually saw service in World War One, and then afterwards 
with the Reich's Finance Ministry. Uh, if you like what you're watching, like and subscribe. Drop a comment. I do try and respond. And uh, thank you for watching.